mountains snowfall on this day in the middle of May. A Sierra snowstorm as summer approaches. Drivers heading over the mountain facing frigid conditions. Earlier in the day at Donner Summit, snowflakes falling hard and fast. Forget swimsuits. This May weekend had snowball fights. It's just crazy. Von Kale Padopsi brought his family to the mountains for the freezing fun. Snowing uh, in May? <laughs> These UC Davis students came up to enjoy the scene. Seven hours of fishing in frigid temperatures. What did they catch? <laughs> Absolutely nothing. This man tried riding his motorcycle over the mountain without checking the weather reports. It was all clear this morning. He pulled over when he could no longer see through his visor. I had to use my hands in order to try to see through and block the snow from hitting my face. An unseasonable winter storm just ahead of Memorial Day. Snow is dumping in the mountains. What a sight. Christine Hansen now joining us with a look at uh, how the rest of this uh, storm system is going to time out. Hey, Christine. Hey, hi there, Steve. Yeah, we have seen another impressive late season winter storm move through the region. About a quarter to a half inch of rain, as you can see from the system. Started off overcast and gray here in the valley, and then the rain moved in around noon. It was steady throughout the early afternoon. Now scattered showers once again moving through the region. 37 hundredths of an inch of rain in Vacaville, 36 hundredths in Sacramento. Stocked in a little over a third of an inch, about a quarter of an inch of rain up in Auburn. Rockland coming in at about a quarter of an inch of rain, and it's still raining. We've got a steady southwest moist flow bringing in showers through the region. Some of that heavy, especially north of Sacramento right now. We have seen showers just pushing through, and as those interact with the foothills, we're starting to see heavier rain. Some of our pockets of heavy rain north along Highway 99, 70 off towards Pleasant Grove, Lincoln, and north to Sheraton across to Wheatland and then up into Grass Valley. We're also seeing some showers in the southern foothills. We have seen quite a bit of rain and that will spread through the region as the system continues to pull moisture up from the southwest. Carmichael Fair Oaks, Citrus Heights also seeing some light rain. We're not seeing a lot of snow at this hour in the Sierra. Interacting with the Sierra, we're seeing uh, snow levels down to about 5,000 feet and a dusting of snow there. Chain controls on Highway 88. All from this system, so we're going to see this push through tonight, but look at the cold thunder shower activity already popping up offshore, and that means colder air moving in associated with that. So, winter storm warning remains in effect all the way through uh, Monday morning at 5 a.m. Tomorrow morning, coldest temperatures, and then again tomorrow afternoon, chains and travel delays likely. And look at this up to two feet of snow expected at highest elevation mountain summits. A winter weather advisory around Lake Tahoe. The big question is, will it all clear before Memorial Day? We're going to have that forecast coming up, Steve. All right, thanks for that. We'll see you in a little bit. And for the very latest on rain or uh, weather, rain or shine, when we're not on the air, you can head to our website, cbs13.com.